And, and, and what, what does it really tell us about the lion? What was the lion doing? That he was tactical. Yeah, exactly. And see, I would see that my summary, that's exactly right, Mike. I would see my, my summary as my, uh, my planning, yeah. my tactics to, my tactics or uh, the tactics of a lion to defeat a man. Well, how? How did, I, how did a lion defeat a man? Okay, now, and then the, these are the other activities I had the kids engage in. How would you describe this sort of text? How well does it help you make a picture? Imagine you were there, help you feel, what do you call a text written like this? I wanted them to give a name to it and how they're going to go ahead with it. And then uh, what are they going to remember about it? And so in terms of uh, a teaching procedure, this really seemed to work for me. That I could have the students go through and first of all explore each, sorry, Anyway, I could go through and have the students, I could work in an interactive way with the, with, with the group. We could come up with outcomes. We could, we could then put them all together like this. Imagine doing this for one or, one or two of those texts. You know, we, with, with a group of kids you're teaching. And then getting them to go through and work on, on those sorts of ideas that we looked at. You know, those sorts of things. Um, So you can see how we were trying to work on those steps in an integrated way. I was trying to integrate those steps into this plan. Are there, are there any questions about that sequence? Did anyone, does everyone agree that that's what you need to do? I think that summarising in narrative is in many ways a, um, a less complex task than summarising expository, that sort of text, where you have lots of information. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how to well, what does anyone else think about that? Because there are some people, this, this grade five and six group at Ben Star West, they'd already been taught to summarise factual texts, but they were leaving the narratives and, and narrative ones until I came down. Yeah. Yes. Like, yes. So, if we looked at that, why are deserts dry? How easy is it for us to say a single sentence summary of the first paragraph? We struggled. Yeah, we but we're teachers. But, yeah, all right. What does everyone else think about that? That first paragraph that we had. Because in many ways, well, I, 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 think, that, <laughs> I think my summary was pretty good. Um, hot air from the equator absorbs moisture and drifts, absorbs water and drifts away. But how often have you done that? How often in recent years have you summarised a, a, a text? Well, there was today for one. There was today, but I mean, but, but <laughs> no, but no. We're doing that all the time, the stuff I read. Is everyone else doing that? No, I know that feeling, Some Mark, yeah. It, but I did not think that was an easy part, that one, that first paragraph. All right. Well, and what Mark said is right, because we don't remember all the detail. What we remember is our sum. This, the summarising is really critical, because it's what, it, it's what we remember about the text. The summary is what we remember. The summary in context. The summary in the, in the context where we learnt it. So does it... Did it What did you guys think? Um, I agree. It's, it's a difficult task. I agree with Michael. It's a difficult task, and we're asking the kids to do it, but it needs to be broken up like 
Yeah. But Renata, how often would you have summarised over the last month? Margaret said she does all the time. Judy said she does all the time. What are you implying that we... I'm really... Yeah, no, I, no, I'm, no, I'm challenging that you, you're doing it all the time. Judy? So what does everyone else think? I, I, I might just be wrong. Because I, I, I think one of the reasons why we found it hard is that I was going to say we don't often do it. All right, okay, so we're differing. What do you guys think? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Now, and, and Rob is, is right. I'd be starting off with having the kids summarise two, three sentences. See, I'd be starting off, if I'm teaching the kids to summarise, I wouldn't be giving them a, a passage like this to start off. I'd start off with two or three sentences. And, and I mean, there's a whole lot of other... Look, just before we go on to this, I should, we should be looking at some of the other activities because they'll, they'll show where I'm coming from. Um, oh... Yeah, let's just, just look at these activities. So I'm, I'm teaching the kids, th this is on page 20, 23, I'm teaching the kids how to summarise, but some of the other activities I'm going to suggest that they do is, uh, and we did this at, at, at um, La Trobe, I, I designed this for La Trobe and, and Banksia Judy, this activity, years ago. Uh, you know, it was, well, in this shows when we were doing it. Um, you know, the last words, what I did was I took... Uh, in the age, they used to have the 50-word article. And so I had down here the headline of the article, and I had over here a sentence from the article, and the kids had to decide which one matched. So you know, that's, a, that's getting it summarising. Yeah, one of the most effective tools, I think, is, is doing that reorganisation, where you mix everything up. Yeah. Yep, yep. Could be jumbled up, as could be the as could be the components of the segments of the story, and then they have to sort them in, in, in the order. And, and and put them out. And and along those lines is that, that is expediting a bit, I mean, yeah. No, no, but it's helping them get the idea of a summary. And another good activity is to is to cut and paste a, a paragraph from the text and put the topic sentence within this within the paragraph. So it's not first. And the kids have to find uh, the topic sentence. But this really, you know, worked to help some of the kids. Uh, another good activity was where you give kids, like with the key words, you give them four or five things and say, what's the topic word? So now that's good at summarising. That's like picking out the key words that you're saying. Pick out the key words and say, okay, what's the topic? See, these are all ways to get getting at the summary. Hannibal, what do you reckon? Yeah, I, I teach maths and PE, and I came to your last last session, and I've only started um, doing the, the getting knowledge ready and the vocab sort of stuff. Yep. The summary part of it, you know, there's a lot less text in, I suppose, my subjects unless you're doing theory and health. Um, Where it's really difficult. Where the text is in Year Twelve Phys Ed text. Is really demanding. Yeah, but I'm more talking about the 79 at that level. Um, but the summaries can work. Um, but the important thing is to make sure the text is obviously uh, the right, right stuff. Yeah, yeah.